boys and girls. Uh, here's the thing. He's uh, lost uh, maybe uh, three, four, five weeks. I have been immensely enjoying uh, Patrick Chin's uh, videos made in his own. And one thing I noticed was that the clear sky uh, upgrades and uh, upgrade information, uh, information, I think, whatever. Uh, wasn't uh, all that obvious. So I have made it my personal vendetta for the flash drives. Basically, uh, I have played uh, Clear Sky a lot. I mean, a lot. And uh, I figured it's easier to show than tell. Right now, I'm here at the beginning of the uh, background scenario. It's the first time I entered this map. And I intend to ignore the main quest and just head over and head over to where I can trade in my test drives. And, uh, I consulted my sources, that is the stalker forums. Uh, these should go to the uh, loner mechanic here. I will later, uh, I will add that uh, link to that post in the description as well. Um, while we are ignoring the main quest, let's take a little beam tour. I'm sure I'm a nice beast. Hello, I want to show us a beast who uh, later killed by duty. Hello! There's a pseudo-scient giant up here. The uh, thing is that... Oops. The thing is that... Um, it doesn't move around much. Only on top of this, uh, this hill itself. And uh, later when the duty squads, uh, squads start moving, then... Uh, Hunting down and uh, won't respawn. Okay, so I have now launched uh, over responsibility. Use uh, two gears. We will run into, uh, into a bloodsucker. Oh, so, while I'm at it, let's move up the detector as well. So, unlike uh, in uh, Shadow of Chernobyl, the artifacts are invisible in uh, clear sky. And uh, they won't show up unless you win one or other uh, detector. There's another uh, helpful thing about uh, artifacts in clear sky. They aren't scattered around uh, everywhere on the map. They are basically only in uh, small and numerous fields. And, uh, and those are quite easy to spot. I mean, if it burns, it's a burner. If it sparks, it's an electrode. And a few others. Okay, we are here. Uh, one more note. Uh, everything that you can see here is uh, an unmodded game. So, if the mod adds some, uh, some functionality, then uh, some things might, might work differently. Okay, this is the guy we need. Let's talk. Work? Okay, here's the thing. You get to the tech and you ask for work. And now he asks for the upgrades. Okay, okay. Oh, but that's not... Wait a second. Which one is this? Okay, these are for him. 
Привет, брат! all do basic repairs and they uh, do some basic upgrades for everything so let's check my arm can I repair it? let's check my submachine gun let's see so okay, right now I will go the extended magazine Basically, every next level upgrade uh, depends on the previous ones. So, can I take this one as well? Okay. So, right now I have crossed the wires. how you get more of the upgrades working. What else? Um, just gonna ignore all the fighting that's going on there. Yep. Uh, yep. These boxes. Uh, dark green boxes. They resupply. At least some of them do. Uh, they uh, resupply with ammo, bandages. Uh, I think uh, in Patrick's latest video you noticed that there was more stuff in there. So that's... Uh, it has got something to do with the faction strength, I think. But over time they will put more and more stuff in here. Another useful thing is using guides. Ну привет. Ну что расскажешь? Привет, брат. Duty base. Uh, the guide uh, prices depend on how safe the road is. If they have to take uh, a detour because there are mutants or bandits on the way, then it will be more expensive. But here's an important uh, tidbit if you bring a load of uh, loot near the guide, drop it, bring more, then uh, you pick it all up and uh, take the guide services then he will take you to your destination with all that metric ton of uh, weapons and, uh, and all the other shit and you can uh, sell it in your destination usually people do uh, these uh, million, uh, million bucks uh, trips to the swamps like this ok, let's go to duty base Stalker! Защити мир от зоны! Вступи в долг! I have also installed a Russian audio mod because uh, 
because uh, I find the English voiceover quite horrible uh, compared to the Russian one and since I, I can understand a little bit of Russian then, uh, uh, then this, uh, this one is more acceptable. Okay, see these guys here, the ones with just one name, oh okay, I don't display names. Uh, they... nope, I don't want to talk to you. Some of them should have side quests. Okay, he is also offering stash information. I don't want it now. Okay, so if, if they ask how can I help you, then they are offering a quest. And this is about uh, one, uh, it's a fetch quest uh, t that takes it to the loner base, basically. Okay, let's say yes. And I think I might already have it. Let's talk. Oh, okay, I don't have it. And uh, the dialogue, dialogue tree options aren't really all that intuitive. But... Uh, but it's, it's sort of possible to get around. But, uh, finally, it's the zoo. Okay, here is another one of these uh, places. Right now it has only a handful of ammo. Later there will be more. Okay, here's a room. I think he would offer me as well, but only after I had taken another one. So that's it. That's how the flash drives work. Okay, there should be a guitar here. Yeah. Little, little must have. Okay then. And uh, now I think it's time for me to make uh, the real video about uh, the MPP. Uh, Twilight Zone. Anyway, thanks for watching.